Hello, Yugis. Welcome to today's、um, flow with me and Pablito. And my other dog, she's sleeping on the couch. So maybe she will be in the mood to join us later. But for now, let、um, Pablito accompany us to start this flow. And today's flow is about the balancing. So we will be having the whole flow standing in standing stances. And、uh, sometimes we just need a bit of more focus and balance and stability, both in our body and in our mind. And also, we need that kind of stability in our life too. And、uh, and yeah, so、um, I hope you guys、uh, enjoy this flow with me today. And、uh, thank you so much for taking this time to join me, join us on Matt today. Okay. With that being said, let's start to、uh, let's start. Uh, standing on our mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Okay, so let's start with a, a few sets of、uh, standing stretching poses. Okay,、um, first stand in Tadasana, and let's just take three deep breaths to connect our body and to、um, start the flow. To prepare our body, our mind to start today's flow. Big breaths in and out. Shoulders down back, away from the ears. You can have your eyes closed or open at your own choice.、Um, belly sucked in. Keep your spine in the neutral、um, curve. Big breaths in and out. In and out. Release your mind. Prepare yourself to start today's flow. Let's take a big breath in. Arms up. Gaze follow. And exhale at heart center. One more time like this. Big breath in. Out at heart center. Big breaths in. Interlock our hands and palms facing up to the sky. Stretch. Feel the feel the power from your feet that is pulling you down, and another、um, source of power from your arms and your hands are pulling you upwards. Just feel the stretch alongside your spines and your lower back, abdomen, abdomens, hips. Big breaths in and out. Big breaths in. Let's stretch to the right side, coming into a side bend. With a stretch on the left side body, open up your chest to the sky. Gaze up to the sky, or keep your eyes closed. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, come to the other side. Feel the stretch on the right side body. Inhale, come back to center, release, and shake it off. <laughs> It's your own style. Just release. Okay, coming back to center, and let's um, um, widen our、um, feet. A little bit wider than shoulder distance, and let's take a big breath in. Exhale, drop your right hand to touch the right side, and come into a side bend once again. 
your left hand is pointing towards the right side. I'm feeling like somebody is pulling you over there. Don't round your back. Just try to stay up and the chest uplifted. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, coming back to center. And let's come back to Tadasana. Two breaths here. Now let's uh, come and into a little bit of uh, front stretch. So let's come into a little back bend. Inhale, arms up. Okay, follow and exhale. Press your hands on the lower back region, palms in, and push your hips, your pelvic, your pelvic in front of you, and chest lifted, shoulders down neck um uh neck release neck release and relax exhale here inhale up and let's do it one more time press the hands at the lower back region and just imagine that you're pushing your hips in front of you while your chest and your shoulder and your neck are going backwards and chest is upwards. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to center and let's release, coming back to neutral. Now, inhale, let's lift our left knee. Um, Hold it with both hands and press the knee into our chest. Why our upper body is still up and lifting? Don't round your upper body. Just try to lift up your chest <coughs> and uh, excuse me, and widen your collarbones. And can you can roll your ankles a bit, uh, three times to the right and three times to the left. Just release your ankle. And take a big breath in, exhale, hold with your, um, your left foot with your left hand and just um, bend at the left knee and keep both knees uh, um, at the same uh, level. Um, don't try to just press too much in the back or in front, just keep them parallel to each other. and. Take a good breath in, raise your left, uh, your right arm to the sky, lift up your upper body. Breath in and out in a natural pace. This is the flamingo pose. While you're doing the stretch, you can also feel the grace of this pose. Take a big breath in, exhale, release, and come to come back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take two breaths here just to release any tensions. And now let's come to the other side. Raise your right leg into your chest and hold with your arms. Rotate your ankle bones three times to the right. And three times to the left. Hold your right foot with your right hand and just bend at your right knee. Inhale, raise your left arm to the sky and come into this graceful pose flamingo. Feel the Stretch on the left crease and release. Come back to center. And now let's uh, slowly come into the whole flow. Okay. And uh, coming, come to the 
um, front of your mat and uh, let's start with one flow one set of flow of suya namaskar sound salutation okay so let's start the flow inhale arms up exhale bend your knees and fall forward to a forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale left foot back to low lunge Apa. thank you papa left knee down inhale low lunge gaze forward exhale plank pose and knees chest chains inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale left foot in front between arms right knee down looking forward low lunge exhale right foot meets the left coming into forward fold inhale lift up raise up the arms exhale hands at heart center and now let's do it on the other side inhale arms up please follow exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale right foot back right knee down low lunge gaze forward inhale come to plank exhale knees chest chain inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale right foot forward low lunge exhale left foot meet the right foot forward inhale slowly raise yourself up hands up exhale hands at heart center inhale hands up exhale fold forward inhale lift your left foot up into half standing half split stay here for three breaths just feel like somebody is pulling your left foot to the sky just lift 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 inhale exhale bring the left to the back of your mat and par uh, parallel to the short edge of the mat and coming into warrior two pose open up your chest bend at the right knee inhale here exhale reverse warrior two feel the stretch on the right side inhale side angle exhale reverse let's do two more rounds like this inhale side angle exhale reverse inhale exhale now listen carefully um, rotate your left foot into 45 degrees to um, to point front and maintain the same position of your right foot and let's face forward square off the hips and face forward come into warrior one pose bend at the right knee arms up and down the back away from the ears inhale here exhale bring the right hand into the inside of your right foot and coming into this um, variation of extended side angle pose with the right hand on the inside of the right foot your left foot point to the front side of your room 
gaze up or gaze down at your own choice. And listen carefully. From here, let's rotate our left arms three times. Control your breath work here. Don't forget breathing. At the last rotate, stay here. And let's face front of your mat, coming into a low lunge. Arms up, a slightly back bend. Inhale and exhale, coming into a forward fold. Left foot meets the right, fold deep. Your choice. Hold at the each elbows and just dangle your body. Ragdoll pose. Shake your body left to right just to release any tensions in the lower body, in the lower back. Your eyes closed. Come into still and let's inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold even deeper, inhale, lift yourself up, arms up, exhale, hands at heart center. Now let's do it on the other side, okay, um, inhale, arms up, gaze follow, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your right foot up to the sky, coming into this standing half split pose. Lift, lift, lift. Just imagine that somebody is pulling you upwards, pulling your right leg upwards. Now, slowly with your exhalation, bring your right foot down and coming into a warrior two pose. Bend at the left knee. Now let's reverse and let's flow it up. Inhale, reverse, exhale. And inhale, side angle. The other side. Chest up, open up. Exhale, reverse, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. You can do this. Exhale. Feel the stretch. And now let's turn the right foot into 45 degrees. You can bring it a little bit upward, up closer to the left foot. And let's rotate ourselves to square off to face the front side of our mat and gaze gaze forward and lift your arms up warrior one exhale bring the left hand down to inside of your left foot and bring the right hand to point in front of the room coming into this variation of side angle pose. And now let's rotate our arms three times. One last time. When you bring your arms forward, let's face in front of our room and come into this low lunge. Slightly back bend. Feel the stretch of the right hip crease, hip crease. And exhale, hands down. Right foot meet the left, forward fold. Fold deeper here. Your choice, you can ragdoll here or you just keep your hands on the floor, eyes closed, shake it off. Swing left to right, right to left, just to release any tension in your lower back. 
now inhale halfway lift exhale fall deeper and slowly lift yourself up into upward lift hands at heart center big breath in and out control your breath so now let's spice it up a little bit with this flow and let's add um, a few more balancing poses okay just to challenge your mind a little bit okay so let's bring up the speed a little bit more okay inhale arms up knees follow exhale foot forward inhale left leg up half standing half split exhale bring the left foot down warrior two dancing warrior in inhale here exhale dancing warrior three rounds inhale exhale basically just swing your arms around while maintaining the uplifting of your upper body last round and facing forward warrior one extended side the angle left hand pointing front to the front of our room and here let's face forward into a high lunge steady breath here inhale exhale shoulders down the ears down away from the ears and listen carefully take a big breath in exhale coming into a warrior three pose this is to challenge your balance a little bit more one notch up let's hold here just feel the extension of your whole upper body throughout your left leg and balancing on the right leg and you can keep a slight micro bend on the right leg from here inhale shaking is okay exhale lift your whole body up and bring your i'm gonna face the camera bring your um left foot inside of your right side and coming into this tree pose with your left knee open up to the side coming into this tree pose your gaze at one point just to help you maintain the balance and stability three breaths here hips square off to the front and listen carefully now let's um with a two piece finger oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and uh, hold at the big toe okay you can assist with your other hand and now just bring the other hand at waist or on the side at your own choice just to help you balance it out extend the left leg the two piece fingers are holding the big toe and extend to the side hold 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 breathe 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 and now let's Take it in, hold the outer edge of your right, uh, left foot with your right hand and lift your upper body up. Now let's do a standing twist. Extend your left leg out while still holding with the right hand and revolve your body to the left side your left arm extended to the back side of your room gaze follow your left hand or gaze to the left side of the room at your own choice and release and shake it off 
Oh, that is uh, challenging. Um, three poses. Okay, so now let's bring it to the other side. Okay, okay, and the front side of our uh, mat. Okay, it's forward, take big breaths in and fold forward. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, warrior two. Now let's swing it up, dancing warrior. Inhale, exhale, revolve, heel, exhale, and just feel the grace of these postures. Make sure that your upper body is still lifted. Don't round your upper back. At the last round, turn yourself front, warrior one. Big breath in, exhale, extend the side angle, pose. Stay here for one breath and slowly gaze forward and come in two. High lunge. One breath. One round of breath, sorry. And let's shift into warrior three on the left leg. <sighs> Extend it out through the right leg from the crown of your head to the toe of your right leg. Slowly shift yourself up into a tree pose. Can flow it out much slow, much more slowly as you want. And shaking, wobbling is fine. Gaze at one fixed point just to help you balance out. Two rounds of breath here. And now let's start this other two challenging poses. Hold with the two piece fingers of the big toe and stay upright, uplifted, extend the right leg out to the side. Open up. Take it in. Use the left hand to hold the outer edge of your right foot. Kick it out in front of you. Revolve your body. Right hand to the back and gaze follow. Standing revolved pose. And inhale, exhale, release. Back to center, shake it off. You have done it. Oh, that's the whole flow and now we are going to end it with some breath work. Okay, now slowly sit yourself down. Do a easy pose, Sukhasana. Okay. Sit yourself up and tall. Slowly bring your breath back into control, into steady pace. Three rounds of breath. You can keep your eyes closed as you want. Breath, breathe in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Three rounds, let's do it. Okay, now let's um, mm, end today's flow with a very sweet, sweet rest work, pranayama. Um, this maybe some of you have already tried, 
it is a very good breathing technique to cleanse your both nostrils, your brain, your mind, and just to bring in more positive energy into your body. And in the end of the session, you'll just feel so much more cleansed. So, okay, now let's um, start the pose. Okay, your left hand in chain mudra. Chain mudra is uh, uh, the forefinger with the thumb together and the other three fingers are extended out softly palm facing up and just place place the left hand on top of your thigh and with your right hand your forefinger and your um, middle finger um, in between your eyebrow in the center of your two eyebrows and your thumb on the side of your right nostril and your ring finger and small finger on the left nostril okay so this pranayama is called um, nadi shodhana uh, which means alternate alternative nostril breathing so we will be alternating the both uh, nostrils when we are taking the inhale and exhale it's very simple let's do it together okay so sit up and tall and the left hand in chin mudra the right hand the fingers in between the eyebrows and let's start close your close your right nostril with your right thumb and take a inhale with one with the count of one to four from the left nostril close it with the left ring and small finger and release the right thumb and exhale with a count of one to four continue take inhale with the right nostril with a count of one to four and release on the other nostril let's just keep repeating this and for eight rounds of breathing from the right one to four close it release from the left one to four inhale one to four close it release on the other side one to four inhale close release on the other side let's keep on doing at your own pace Two more rounds. <laughs> Release completely completely on the left nostril and let's close it off <sighs> very surprising ending <laughs> and both of my dogs joined us perfect it's my neighbor's baby crying one last round of breath take a big breath in and out uh, through the mouth Thank you guys so much for um, joining me on the mat today and I hope you enjoy today some um, standing stretching flow and um, accompanied with this sweet pranayama at the end even with the sweet scream of the baby <laughs> okay um, I um, 
I'm gonna release more classes and I hope you or like my classes if you like my classes and uh, you can just press that sub subscription button and um, to uh, to follow my channel and uh, I hope to see you soon again on this mat with my two babies and uh, wish you a pleasant day namaste